Hey, I'm Ruth, and um, yes, I'm making sardine cookies for my dogs, but whatever. Um, I noticed that a lot of people who are successful in weight loss have a particular moment when they put it all together, when it really clicked. And one of those guys is um, Scott Malbray, who is the editor of Cooking Light. And yes, an editor of Cooking Light, Healthy Food Magazine, admitted that he had a, he needed to lose weight. And I was stunned by that. Uh, during the course of that uh, weight loss progression, he made a really useful distinction between motivation and willpower. You can have all the motivation in the world. I mean, we're all motivated to lose weight. We know that we want to feel better and look good and fit into our old jeans and uh, make our friends jealous at the high school reunion. But then, when it comes to willpower, we come home from work, we're tired, we're hangry, the kids want to do, they want to go to a fast food place, something easy, etc. The willpower absolutely disappears. And his point was that uh, willpower that is not tethered to motivation is pretty much nothing. And this is where I come in because I thought about it a little more and I thought, you know, you, you, you do need, that made a, a big impression on me because you do need those things connected. What can you do to get those things working together? And that's engagement. It's almost like a transmission. Think of a car engine. You, you can have the biggest and best engine out there, but your wheels ain't turning. You need a transmission. And that was what I called solving for X Ahem. on page 132 of the January edition. And by solving for X, I mean go back to your al uh, high school algebra class. I mean, okay, you got four, that's, that's your, you know, it's what you need. And you know that you uh, have to multiply something by two to get there. I, I really am going to focus on the numbers. Numbers hold us accountable just better than anything else out there I know. Um, if you get a 68 on your test, wow, you know, you failed. You need to study more or study harder or uh, quit going out so much. I don't know. Um, if you don't score enough points, you lose the Super Bowl. Thanks, guys. Uh, you don't have to be a data geek to get that. You've got to know your numbers. I'm afraid you are going to have to weigh yourself daily on a digital scale. You have to know what that number is. You have to know what your, what, what do you know? What you're putting, what, what are you putting into your body? You're gonna have to make some effort at counting calories or serving sizes or something. You know, you're gonna have to track something. Uh, whether it's with a you know, gadget or not, I don't care. You've got to know your numbers. Because you can sit there and put up a picture of what you want to look like all you want. This will not hold you accountable. This will. 